Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we are going to do a book review. Uh, the book we are reviewing is Introduction to Stochastic Calculus with Applications, 3rd edition by Fima Klebana. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Really sorry if I butcher it. Um, let's talk about the, how I got this book, uh, why I'm reviewing this book, because a lot of you always are curious why I recommend or read or review different books. So I've been searching for a Stochastic Calculus book on Stochastic Calculus. Um, I don't like the way that financial engineering programs, financial mathematics programs, whatever quant program you want to call it, I don't like the way they teach it because they give you these books. I'm not going to knock any specific books here, but they give you these books that are applications to finance only, which is great. And you understand the basics of math applied to finance and you memorize it and you don't know anything and you go out into the industry and you're a quant or financial engineer and you don't really understand what's going on. You've just memorized these processes, right? You don't know stochastic calculus. Um, and there are a lot of these terrible programs that teach you like one, maybe two classes and you're done. And then like magically you're a financial engineer and you understand stochastic calculus. Um, I don't buy it. It's not good. You need actual stochastic calculus for a book. So of course I went out online and I'm doing my searches and reviews, trying to find a book that is teaching stochastic calculus. Financial applications is not a prerequisite. I don't really care about this, right? There's tons of books on this and it's great. They go through how to apply it to finance many other books, but I need a really solid introductory stochastic calculus book. And so I found this book in some forums and some students that were PhDs in mathematics were discussing it. And they mentioned that they really liked this book because it balanced well the technical side with the applications, but also with the explanation of how do you actually do this in practice and theory and trying to find a book that's theoretical enough and rigorous enough that you learn how to do stochastic calculus on its own without applications to a specific problem, but also being applicable enough that you can quickly tie it to different fields of study. Uh, this book kind of hit all those check marks for me. And in the back of the book, it has finance applications, it has biology applications, and it has a few physics examples applications here as well. So I emailed Dr. Clavana and I asked him for the book, right? So shot in the dark here, you know, this is a book, I really wanna read it, I have a channel, I do book reviews, and he was really happy to actually provide me this book, so he mailed it. He teaches at Monash University in Australia, so the book is actually mailed to me from him uh, in Australia to the United States. So. Out of full disclosure here, this book was free, provided by the author, um, but I'm actually the one that messaged him wanting to review the book. Okay, so what do I really just love about this book? This is probably the best stochastic calculus book, introductory book, right, for stochastic calculus that I've read. Um, one of the biggest things that I just really like is the layout of the book. So the book starts off with, with preliminaries from calculus, then it goes into concepts or probability theory, and then in chapter three, you're already diving into the basics of stochastic processes. And then he segues nicely into Brownian motion for calculus, then into stochastic differential equations, diffusion processes, martingales, calculus for semi-martingales, pure jump processes, change of probability measure, applications in finance, which has a few chapters on that, uh, a chapter on biology, and a really short chapter on engineering and physics. So I like the way that he builds on the material and it kind of, takes you from one topic to the next in a nice conceptual way that's easy to understand like why we're going through the process we're going through. With many textbooks, the authors don't think these things through. Um, given that he's a professor, it seems like he's done a lot of teaching on this topic and he's actually layered this in a very kind of cohesive way of putting it together. Now, that being said, I do not recommend this book for business majors, okay? You're gonna need to take at least Calc 1 to Calc 3 um, I would really, really recommend you take measure theory as a course, or at least study measure theory, or read some other book before you dive into this book. Um, and then you need to take at least a few probability classes just to get going here. So I looked at reviews online. Some people are like, oh, this is not an introductory book. You know, someone even said they had a physics degree from a top-notch university in their country, and this book was like unobtainable, it's hard to read. Um, stochastic calculus is a really challenging topic, okay? It's hard to learn, it's hard to understand, even myself, right? It's hard to grasp those ideas. But one thing that really excited me with this book is like reading through the book, the presentation. Um, he does mathematical kind of like derivations of some of these like lemmas and proofs and how you get to things theoretically. These aren't easy things just to learn. You don't just read the book and go, oh, I completely understand stochastic calculus. And like, you know, I'm out the door building out exotic derivative pricing options. I don't know, something like that. 
The book itself, though, it makes me think. It makes me really want to dive in deeper. And he references some papers and he has some exercises in the back, which I'm going to point out here too, something I loved about the book. At the back, there's select solutions to some of the homework problems. So at the end of each chapter, there are homework problems or exercises. And then he provides in the back solutions for those. So I like the way that the book is set up. I think it's an amazing book if it was to be used in a university for teaching. It's also something you could use for self-learning because you can kind of wrestle and grasp the ideas. And if you need more background, you need more information, right? There are papers and academic sources you can search through in this book. Um, and then you can also do the exercises and then check the solutions at the back, right? Those select solutions. It's not all the solutions, but you can go and look at them and say, oh, okay, like I didn't get the right solution and kind of work back and work through it. This book is for someone who wants to be a real quant. This is not a book that you're just gonna pick up and like read overnight and understand stochastic calculus. And then, I don't know, it's one and done. But the things I liked about the books I mentioned, the layout of the book is amazing. Um, the examples, the proofs, the rigor, the mathematics in the book are amazing. Again, it's not going to be the most advanced book, right? It's called Introduction to Stochastic Calculus. Um, but that being said, it does assume you have a strong background in math and probability before you dive into this, right? Those are those two components you need to really learn stochastic calculus. And then there are some, there are two chapters in the back here, which I'll mention. And they are applications in finance, which covers stocks in FX, so foreign exchange options. And then the other chapter is applications in finance, bonds, rates, and options. Um, he covers a lot of just the really basic bare models you're gonna use for stochastic calculus here. Uh, he does a great job of kind of breaking them down. Again, the focus of the book is not finance, it's learning stochastic calculus. But I think once you do the first uh, 10 chapters in here and you really grasp the material, um, applying it to finance is not gonna be as challenging as coming from a you know uneducated perspective of stochastic calculus and then trying just to learn it and apply it to finance all at once. Um, there's a big section on biology and a really small section on engineering and physics. But my favorite section of this whole book is actually the biology examples. Um, the reason for this is biology is a hard science. And so, yes, there's uncertainty within different things. Uh, again, my favorite part of this book is actually the birth and death process, which is section 13.3. Um, and also going into the next section, which is actually on modeling cancer and mutations. Uh, for me, biology just makes more sense. So I have a finance degree, an undergrad, I come from finance, I get it, I know, I've taken the classes in financial engineering programs, but I just think that applying this to a scientific biology perspective made it a little more clear for me, and it helps to kind of see how you apply this outside of finance. So one of the big detriments, I think, for a lot of programs, so not for this book, but for a lot of programs, is that students only learn the rigor of like repeating and memorizing equations within an application, so specifically finance, um, this book, though, I think does an amazing job at stochastic calculus. I love the thoroughness of it. I love the segues, as I've mentioned. Like, I can't say enough good things about this book. Uh, I'm up in the air on exactly how to rate this out of five stars. My first initial reaction was it has to be a five-star book because I've, I've enjoyed reading it so much. It's one of those times where I sit down here at my desk, you know, camera's off and everything, and uh, I'm actually like reading through the book and I have a sheet of paper and a pencil next to me and a big eraser and I'm like working through some of it and trying to grasp the ideas better, trying to really see where it's coming from theoretically and thinking about it deeper. And again, of course, I'm using you know the internet and searching things as well and adding into my studies, but it lays a great foundation of how I could study with the book. It's enjoyable. I have not covered every aspect, every page uh, of the book itself. Um, I'll show you guys here, I guess briefly, if I can flip through this. So as you guys know, yes, I, uh, I actually, read the books and I highlight in them and I take notes in them. Um, again, I, I just thought it's just a well put together book. So I can't say anything else great about it besides that. Um, I did like one thing it laid out kind of the principles and assumptions behind stochastic processes. I don't see this a lot in other books. Um, again, I just absolutely love this book. And then I thought, you know, so on the rating side here, five star it has to be five star. And I thought, but is it perfect, right? If it's not perfect, maybe I should give it a 4.5 because I only do half star increments. But I think overall, guys, I'm gonna give this a five star for the book. Again, I do not recommend the book. Please don't buy the book if you're from a business background. You're gonna spend money on this and it's gonna be really, really challenging. And you'll, I guess, fully grasp, at least at that point, at an expensive mistake, uh, what stochastic calculus is and the complexity behind it. 
But if you have a math background, you're going to be going into a real solid rigorous financial engineering program. Um, I would buy this book before you even start your master's. I would buy this book after your master's as a study guide. Um, like I said, I'm highlighting in this book because I always like to read it. And then I go back and I reread things and then I work on projects, you know, self-study, work projects, whatnot. If something triggers and I'm like, I need to look it up. This is the book I'm going to be going back to, to really like try to dive into those concepts deeper and better and get that supporting evidence for what I'm actually working on. Um, so again, this is a five star out of five star book. It's stellar. It's amazing. It's for people that have a strong mathematical background, not for business people. But overall, this is who the book is targeted for and written for. Um, I hadn't really heard of it. it. It was not on my radar. When you search applications, a lot of times it doesn't come up like on Amazon as well. But I really enjoyed this book. I think you guys should give it a read. Um, anyways, thanks for watching. And as always, until next time. <laughs>